Hey, what is up guys, Trex here, and welcome to episode 1 of the new Trex Complete series. This time, we are playing Prison Architect, and since there, this is an early access game, there really isn't a end to the game quite yet. We're just going to be playing until we complete all the grants, and then as Prison Architect, updates will probably come back to it. So, if you don't know what Prison Architect is, it is a prison management sim, kind of like Theme Hospital or Roller Treasure Tycoon. It's inspired by those. And what you do is basically you just build a prison to house some inmates. And so that is exactly what we are going to be doing. So, let's get into this. I'm just going to clear these rooms right here. I'm actually going to just make the deliveries room one longer, like that. So we have deliveries and we have garbage. Let's just put the game on pause real quick. And what type of prison should we do? Should we do a village prison or should we do a... Um, contained prison. Village prison, you kind of spread out the buildings, kind of like building here, building here, building here, building here. Terrible prison, I know, but it's an example with like pathways leading between the buildings and stuff. So that's a village prison. And then a com a um, contained prison is like building a uh, room here with a room branching off of it and that room right here. And it's generally pretty space efficient, but I don't like it as much. But I think we'll just be going with a contained prison, and then if we ever do a second run of this, we will come back and do a village prison. So the first thing we need to do is start off with getting a room built. So um, let's just go into the planning mode real quick and build some walls along the entrance, along with this entrance. We'll make the delivery room 16 long, like that, and the garbage can be 10 long. This is just some quick planning, like that. And how wide is that? That's 5 wide. Okay, that's good. And then this is going to be the entrance right here. And we'll, we'll have a uh, storage room right here with the... Or should we... Yeah, this can be a storage room right here. And we'll have the administrative offices just on the other side of that because they are pretty important. Actually, yeah, four. Uh, we need four, if I'm counting right. So these need to be four by four, so that'll be an office. That'll be an office, right? That is four by four. That is four by four. Two, three, four. Yep, probably not the most efficient way to do things, but I'm just doing it like that. Uh, actually, let's move these somewhere else. We'll get that situ situated in a bit. We will need a 5x5 five five room um, for the power. That is 6x5. So just move this in here one. For the power, and then a 3x3 three three room for the water. So we'll just get that real quick. Like so. And we can just have our little minions start building the foundations for that but we should we should take a grant soon because grants are very useful and pretty much essential for some architect so let's just get that going uh, might as well get a hallway going like so and we'll just build some walls around like that just so that we can have walls like so and we might as well just finish out these rooms garbage and deliveries, just fill that in here. See, I do press architect in kind of my own way. I don't really do what other people do, so this is going to be new. I'm not trying to copy you. I'm just trying to uh, make it efficient, which is something that I generally don't worry about. But um, we should hire some grants if the FPS will keep up. So basic detention center and administration center is what we will need. Gosh, why is my FPS so bad today? Okay, there we go. Seems to smooth out. But yeah, DX Story still dropping frames, which is annoying. And Fraps is doing that same thing. So I'll probably just need to get a fresh reinstall of both those programs or something to get those both working. We're going to need a jail door there. And for the storage room, we'll have a staff door there. And staff door in these power rooms. Let's actually put that there. Sweet. Okay. So we'll just speed that up to have them build it. Actually, while they're doing it, we can plan out our administration center. Uh, like so. Two, three, four, five. Okay. So that is what we need to do. 
Because that is four. That is four. It'll be something like this. I don't know how even this is. What is? Something is killing my FPS today. I'm getting 60 to whatever FPS. That's four. Four. And four. Yeah, you can probably see the FPS counter in the corner for Steam. Normally I would turn that off, but I just decided that it wouldn't be worth it to do it. Yep, I just saw myself drop down to 24 FPS. Uh, slightly annoying, but we will just deal with it. Okay, we need to extend this hallway out a bit more like this. And we'll just put a wall here because we're going to have security and the staff room there. So now what we need to do is build out the... Or we need to add the power station in with some capacitors like that. And the water pump station in like that. Uh, we don't really need that door there so we can dismantle that. We don't need that wall there either. So... Yeah, we will just build a wall across here like this. Just like that. And storage room. I think the door... Let's actually dismantle that so it can be a bit more even. But we'll have doors right into the delivery room as well. Which will be useful. Just like that. I don't know how garbage garbage can go through here. This is kind of getting to be the utility room. I'll probably make a pathway to the kitchen. Whenever we do that. Okay, good. Now we have. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> now we have power, but we're gonna. We need to connect that. And also, we need to send that up through here and kind of along that way. So we will just do that as well as add to the foundation. Like that. And we can dismantle that wall uh, with the demolish walls tool. And now we should also build a brick wall across here, like that, with the staff door. And we will designate this room to be a storage room, or storage right there. Alright. And I like to add um, different floors to my room, so I'm going to just add concrete tiles right here. Just like that. And I'll just add middle floors to this, even though we won't see it for some of them. And grass is also nice for these external areas. We should add an exports room, just a temporary exports room though, just across the street so that we can just drop off our trees and stuff. And now let's get this administration center up so that we can have the warden come in, which is, uh, cause a, ward, a warden is essential. So let's just get that built really quickly. And we can add the staff door back in there. Like that. That go. This did. Okay. Um, that door looks slightly wonky. Uh, can I open it? Huh. Maybe I need to build a wall under it. Yeah, that's like what it looks like it needs to be. So let's just have those people build it. Uh, dismantle those walls, please. Wash. Right there. Okay. Thank you. Yep, there we go. And now we need to open the staff door. Okay, dismantle and dismantle the staff door because they're both messed up for some reason. Um, hello anybody? Can you uh, please just dismantle those doors? Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Now let's just pull these doors back out. Put one right there and one right there. Just to kind of open it up. Now, staff doors right there. We're going to need to build walls here, just so that these offices will count as offices. Just like this. I'm going to add hardwood floor in there, uh, because I like the look of the wood floor, and I think it really adds something. It makes it look official, I guess, um, for the administration center. Let's just build that out in the offices. We only need four offices. I believe there might be more offices coming in later updates, possibly. I mean, I said on two times speed. Let's bring some power up through here into this room. Let's also get our water going. Uh, I just like to have two main pipes going along bases like this. Um, not bases, prisons. Just all along the main hallway so that it's easy to branch off of. Okay, looks like we should just put some gravel there. There's the gravel. 
and I think some nice lights outside the entrance would be good. Don't know how long I've been recording for, but after we get this, uh, I think after we get that grant up, we will be good. Oh, we need some staff doors, so um, we'll just make it closer to the entrance so that it's easier for the staff to walk into. Just like that. Okay. There we go. Uh, need some more hardwood floor. Hardwood floor. I suppose that's just one floor because that's what it's called. Just right underneath. And now let's get our office. We don't have the clone tool unlocked yet, so I can't just quickly paste it, but we need to designate this as an office first. Where is the office? Office, 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 office. I always forget where these things are, but there's a search bar right there. There's the office. Knew where it was the whole time. Office. Okay. And we also need... Oh yeah, we have a parole room now. Staff room and security eventually. So, uh, what was I about to do? Oh yeah, bring power up. Power, power. Right up through here. Right up that alley. What is... Something is just killing my FPS. I don't know what it is. If you guys know how to, um, solve this DX Tori and Fraps issue, that'd be great if you just leave your, um, suggestions suggestions in the comments below. That'd really be great as well, because I really need to figure out this issue, because I, I prefer DX Tori to Fraps, because it's just, you have so much more control, which I prefer, but, yeah, it's just something about it that has not been working. Let's just put some of this stuff in there. We can add some beds uh, to make it better, I guess. Because I think the staff can rest up in here. Let's add some TVs. Which way does it face? That way. Okay. Yep. Okay, weird, wonky uh, staff room that I've never built before. Or never designed like this before, but that'll work. Let's get some staff in here. Where's my warden? We need to get an accountant. And he chose that office. Interesting. Two cooks. Okay, we need to... We have six hours. I'm going to turn off in, uh, prisoner intake for the moment. So that we can get the rest of this stuff built up. Uh, let's just build ourselves a holding cell really quickly. It doesn't need to be that big. And we can build the shower going off right here, possibly. And... How can we do this? Because I do want this at least, to go to the kitchen. So we'll have that like that. Um, so the holding cell can be 8 by 6 possibly, with this. I'm trying to figure out how to pack it in here compactly. Uh, we'll just give up this space right here. This can be the yard. So the yard can be 4 by 10. That's where that'll end. The... Mm, don't know how I'm going to do this. Don't know how I'm going to do this. Because I definitely want that there. I could just extend the garbage out a bit more. That's something I could do. Um, but I won't use... Ah, well, I'll just extend the garbage out a bit more. So, how big is this? This is 4 by 6. How big does the ER need to be? You know what? You know what? Okay. Holding cell. Let's just get this figured out. We'll make it 8 by 8. So there's 8. Down here, 9. And across like that. So that is 8 by 8. Double check right there. Sweet. Okay. This can be our showers. And then our yard can be right here. And that should be good. That should work. Um, as the shower, the holding cell, and the yard. Don't know what we'll put here, but then we can... Yes, that will work actually. Oh, wait, cancel that foundation. Cancel that foundation. Cancel that foundation. Okay, the yard does not need a foundation. Um, it just needs walls like that. But then we can have a pathway going back here just like this. There is a slight wasted space right there, but that's fine. This pathway will connect right to the kitchen, so there's easy access. Which will be great. Okay. So let's just build, get this holding cell um, built. And we should be good. Let's just add a prison door right there. That's going to be the shower. That's going to be the yard. If you guys could build that kind of quickly. That'd be great. Uh, didn't even start him researching finance, which is what we need to do 
while these guys are building. Okay, okay, good. So now let's designate this as a holding cell. This as a shower. That's a yard. Yard over here. Dang it, it must be at least five by five. Okay, okay, we're fine, we're fine. Um, just demolish these walls real quick. And we will add a new set of walls right here. Right? Because that'll be five by five. Yep, it will be. Okay, sweet. So let's do that. Let's add a jail door. Okay, we will have guards there eventually. Uh, we can also bulldoze the foundation so that it doesn't leave some weird stuff on the yard. We'll add some grass. Except for that spot, because people don't want to bulldoze it for some reason. Okay, there we go. Grass and grass. Okay. And now let's just build a wall separating the shower and the holding cell. Objects for the holding cell. We need a bench, another bench, and a third bench. And then we'll just put some beds so the first prisoners can rest up. So let's just get these. Just like that. Okay, okay, there we go, we have some beds for them. Okay, so that'll hold 12 prisoners. Well, we can probably put some more beds in between here like that. And that should be good. Um, objects for the shower, we, we will need to get that plumbing, which we can do easily. Let's just put a regular door right here. Uh, we need a toilet, which we can just plug right there, get some plumbing. Um... Yeah, it'll be cheaper to just connect it through there. And then the showers can be connected into here. Uh, Snapchat. Um, shower. Connect. Uh, build these shower heads just like this. Oh, rotate it. And rotate it. There we go. We have, we'll have shower heads. Okay, we are almost done with this episode. Just put in these this piping. There we go, the toilet got it, the shower's got it. Can't put it on the corner, I don't think. Um, and the yard. Uh, we need to redesignate the yard's dimensions so that it will register as a yard. There we go, 5x5. Five five. Need a kitchen and a canteen. So, to kind of cheat that, we'll just say canteen, kitchen. That didn't work. That did not work at all. Okay, never trying to cheat that again. Uh, yeah, I think that's where we'll pause for this episode. Can we get a, an accountant yet? No, we cannot. How far are you on finance? Okay, one hour. We will uh, play just until he researches finance. So let's plan this. Let's build a canteen across from the kitchen. Let's make it a big canteen that we can expand outwards. So 30 uh, by... How long is that? 21. We'll just call it 22. Nah, let's just, yeah, 22, like that. So that'll be our canteen. Oh, this prison is so messy. <sighs> oh, well, I'll just deal with it. This is why I like building village prisons, because they're easier to maintain. Now, kitchen over here like this, with that connecting them. Okay, we'll just have our guys start work on this. Big, big foundation that'll take lots of money. $10,000 to be exact. Joy. That right there. We can just add cheap wall across. Yeah, okay. And we can also just add a staff door right here. We should get some roadblocks going. But this is where we're at for now. Do we have bureaucracy research? We do have uh, finance research. Not bureaucracy. So let's just get the accountant. Okay, we have a. We have completed one grant. Alright, we might just hire these two chefs. I'm going to try and complete this second grant really quickly, as quick as possible, so that we can just end this episode off. Excuse me, I'll take a drink real quick. I don't think it's been too long. So, yeah. Um, they are building this foundation. We should get some more work, man. Let's just get two more, maybe. Yeah, two more. That'll be good. Build this foundation. Um, so, yeah, as I said, the story is dropping frames. Any solution to that? I'll try reinstalling, but I've done that before, so I don't trust that that'll work again. So, if you guys have any 
uh, solutions to how to prevent DX story dropping frames. Uh, just leave that in the comments below. Well. I'll also look on the Xcode forms for any results. Ah, there we go. Foundation has been built. All right. Uh, we need to demolish these walls right here and these walls. So let's get these walls built just through here real quick. Oh gosh, out of saving. Why? Um, extend the utilities. Oh gosh. I keep dropping frames like this, I'm not going to be able to record, and I really want to record. Gosh, this is annoying. Okay. Kitchen. This will be our kitchen. Canteen. This will be our canteen. It is a very, very big canteen. Objects. Staff door. Right there. Materials. We should give it some tiles, but not just yet, because we need to get the objects, and that will make this what it is. Uh, let's get serving table. Um... Right here, right here, leave room for the door, like that, and can we fit one more in? Yes we can, um, but it would make it uneven and we don't want th things to be uneven. That's one of the things that we don't want, as a matter of fact. So now let's get some benches, just lay out a design real quick. I'll probably go back through and refine this after the episode, but this is just so that we can get the grant completion payment and end off the episode. But yeah, between episodes, I'll do some work on the prison myself to kind of um, just tidy it up a bit, I guess. Let's just erase that. There we go. Okay. Canteen is good. Kitchen, we just need to get the cooker, the fridge, and the sink also known as a stove, cooker, sink, fridge, like so. Let's get some garbage cans, because those are useful. Uh, let's actually move that cooker, or sink. Gosh, I'm getting everything mixed up. Garbage cans like that, and sinks can go along with the fridge, like so. Big kitchen so far, but it'll be all different later. Let's put these jail doors in. So that we can have them uh, staff doors in the kitchen to in like that staff door right there. We will tidy this up as well later. But now let's get these utilities. Let's bring those in right there. We could connect through there, but don't want to. Okay, uh, down here. Where is the sink? The sink has not been placed. The sink has been placed. So let's just drag that to there, right there, and that should get us everything we need. Okay, grant completion payment. So we have completed two grants. Uh, those grants were Basic Detention Center and Administrative Center. Administration Center. So anyways, guys, that was episode one of um, Prison Architect. Uh, I don't know if there will be two videos out today. I don't know. So, yeah, so I'm dropping frames. I'm going to try and figure that out. I don't want to have to record with Bandicam. But, I don't know. So yeah guys, thank you all very very much for watching. If you like this video, then be sure to like the video and subscribe to my channel for some more awesome content. I will see you guys all next time. Goodbye.